So it's really easy to then interpret what elasticity means when we have estimated it, okay? So here we have a model where we've estimated um, the elasticity of CEO salaries with respect to firm sales, okay? And we found that in such a model where we take log salaries and log sales, right? It's a log log model. Uh, we find that this elasticity is 0.257. So to interpret this elasticity, we don't really care about what the units of salary or sales are, right? So whether we're measuring salary in dollars or sales are measured in dollars or in, in units, millions or billions, we don't care about that, okay? So um, the interpretation of this right here would be in percentage changes. So one interpretation of this 0.257 is that if there was a 1% change or 1% increase in sales, that would be associated with a 0.257% increase in salary on average, and this is ceteris paribus, right? So, or you could um, think about a 10% increase, right? Which is just multiplying this by 10. Right, so you could say a 10% increase in sales associated with a 2.57% increase in salary, okay? Now, you could change your, um, you, you, can you can basically test whether elasticity changes or not if you change the units, okay? So you can try changing sales to uh, billions instead of millions, right? So you can def define a new variable um, which is basically log of basically sales divided by a thousand, right? And take the log of it. And you will notice that nothing happens to elasticity, but the intercept will change. Okay. So, you know, when you rescale it and you look at the relationship between salary and sales, you might find that the association is positive, which makes intuitive sense. But again, it's not a straight line, right? So you're noticing that we're capturing that non-linearity in that relationship. Okay, and so to summarize, we've seen models where uh, we have both y and x in terms of levels. We've seen models when we've, uh, or maybe we've not seen this model where we are just taking x in logs and y is in levels. Uh, these models are more popular, the log level and the log log, right? Where um, we said you could have um, log of uh, wages regressed on education, right? And that's this this one right here where you have log of Y, but uh, X is in levels, right? And you're interpreting that change. So on the right-hand side here, you can interpret what beta one is. And sometimes this model right here is also called um, a semi-elasticity model. Okay, so this right here is capturing semi-elasticity. And the last one, log log, which is probably the easiest to interpret, uh, is basically capturing uh, the percent change effect in both the variables, right? So here, uh, beta one is actually just elasticity. Okay, so um, we can get to, we can use natural logs to get to some sort of nonlinear relationships between y and x, okay? Um, remember that we are still doing linear regression. We're still running a linear regression. And when we say linear regression, we basically means that our model is linear in, in the parameters. That means when we write out the expressions for beta naught and beta one, uh, they are linear functions of x and y. Okay, and so what we've seen here is that we can use any transformations of the dependent and the independent variables to get interesting interpretations for these uh, parameters or estimates.